So what's the deal with that then, Sharon? Well, the deal with that is when you hide behind a platform, right? You can put a picture up, it's not necessarily you. You can write a biography that is not necessarily you. You can, you can say, these are all the things that I've accomplished in business. It's not necessarily you. But if you have to go out in the real world, it's the real deal. So this is why I think it's easier on LinkedIn to create these scams and pretend you're the people that you're not. Because who's going to go check you out? Think about it. Who has time? Mm. Or really the interest. I mean, we're all focused. We all here have a very important, we're, we're focused on what we want to do. If you're not in anywhere connected with anything that I'm trying to do with children, audiobook narration, educational TV. Um, do you think I'm going to spend the time trying to triage your background? Mm -hmm. That's why people get away with the things that they do. Because they know they're not going to get out. It's a high for them to see how far they can push it. Very, 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 very interesting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Go on, Inga. That's true, actually. Um, if you think about it, like who has the time to be going and checking out everyone? Um, you know, we're all here for a purpose. We're all here because, you know, um, well, the purpose of LinkedIn is to be linked in, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> to connect with one another. Um, and something that I, I try to encourage is really going beyond the facade and getting to know the person. Mm. Um, that is so important, you know, because the, these are people that you're connected with, right? And really, truly, I will say I have 8,000, more than 8,000 followers. I don't know every one of them. And I don't have the time to check them out. No. Right. Um, but if I do notice some um, dodgy behavior, should I say, I I will disconnect from somebody. We can, by the way, I mean, I, obviously, it's only if you feel comfortable, but we don't have to be you uh, rated in talking about these people because some of the shit they pull needs to be sworn about. But it's up to you. Um, <laughs> I'm glad, Inga, that you uh, and Sharon both uh, gave similar feedback. And I'll tell you for why. Rachel Beck, the series I did with her and mm -hmm. Gregory Austin was about setting boundaries, which you mm -hmm. talked to, Sharon. The other thing, though, is... Uh, I've lost my mind again. Boundaries. Uh, oh! Due diligence. It's all right. I'm not even going to. I'm not going to edit this out. I'm stupid. My mind, <laughs> my mind's going all over the place. So due diligence, right? So people send me a connect request, and I'll okay it. People say subscribe to this. I'll subscribe. Have I ever read anything ever ever ever? No. Have I bothered to? I don't listen. If you get ten minutes before a call to do some quick research on their profile, mm. that's that's good for me, but. Three other women that have been on our show before said we do not accept a connect re a connect re request until we've looked into their profile, looked into this. Done. I know. Hmm. So, how do they have the time for that? I guess they just must connect with a lot fewer people. Yes. That, that, I mean, we're all working. I don't get home from school till six o'clock at night. I am exhausted. And I still might have a newsletter to write. I have parents that I have to reach out to. You know, I don't have time for that. I have to go on my own instincts. Anyone who yes. is not my interest, then the red light goes up. Right. Um, anyone who has the scheme to present and it's interesting we were talking about all of the things that are going on with currency that is a big thing these get rich 
schemes that they want to invite me to, I agree with you. But some of this is common sense, listening to your own instincts. I don't have to start looking at people's profiles because anyone can put up a profile, right? Mm -hmm.